3. Styling Size Up Mercedes AMG Project 1 vs Aston Martin Valkyrie. We finally got to see the long rumor hypercar from Mercedes AMG at the 2017 Frankfurt Motor Show, and its F1 derived specs didn't disappoint. But how did AMG do on Project 1 styling? Take a look below and decide for yourself. There have been many comparisons drawn between Project 1 and Mercedes' last ultra-limited road-going race car, the CLK GTR. You could argue Project 1 is that car's spiritual successor, but because roughly 20 years separate the two, let's compare it to something a little more recent. The Aston Martin Valkyrie is another limited production, multi-million dollar hypercar that comes to mind, so let's see how Project 1 stacks up against that. Viewed from the front, Project 1 may not strike all onlookers as beautiful, but it will strike them. The design team incorporated Mercedes design themes like AMG's signature A-wing lower valance, but thankfully it left off the Panamericana grille that's been spreading throughout AMG's lineup. The air inlets are all functional but give Project 1 a gaping front-end look, especially when compared to the Valkyrie, which has a lower profile nose. The profile view is where you will see the most CLK GTR resemblance with that roof-mounted scoop that tapers rearward into a central fin. Both the Valkyrie and Project 1 are extremely low-slung, but the bodywork on the AMG is smoother and uninterrupted by the gaps that make the Aston look barely there from the side. Both hypercars feature minimal overhangs that start below the tops of the fenders. Project 1's look was inspired by the AMG Vision Gran Turismo concept. He rear might be Project 1's best angle, with its slender taillights, large diffuser, and extra-large active rear wing. Project 1 also has very prominent hips, making for a wide rear end and an hourglass shape when viewed from above. Both cars have minimalist interiors and race car-derived steering wheels. From some angles it looks as though Project 1's seats flow right into the floor, and that's because they are integrated into the car's monocoque body. The AMG has two screens, including one in the center stack and another directly in front of the steering wheel acting as an instrument panel. The Valkyrie has Project 1 beat in the screen game, though, featuring a central screen, one in the steering wheel, and two displays on either side of the dash acting as rear view mirrors. What do you think of the Project 1's styling compared to the looks of the Valkyrie? Did Mercedes-AMG take its extreme performance hypercar in the right direction?